gentle people. <coughs> Clark TV to your brain again. I have a link up my bridge with Mr. Walker today because I have some new development where I take place on the farm. And you know me as a man, I take pride in a farming and love anything we have to do with farming where show people provide them with food and them look for something. But traversing on this road to my bridging place is not a normal feat, my brother. Because the road is in such, a, in, in such a deplorable condition. I wonder if the council or the MP take time out for drive on this road. But, guys, you see, I know some my bridging, Mr. Walker, in my lobby, to ensure say, this, this road get fixed. Right? Because they do that for the water. In the lobby, they get water in this community. Yeah? But then they have really serious inconsistent water flow in our community and in lobby if you get water for everybody in our place and him now will stop trying to because so far it look like say the mobile housing scheme over on the left there right the mobile housing scheme over on the left side there so you know in some ways some part of the road are fixed because they are trying to impress the people them where are by the house right so me just have shown a look of view of the, the, the road condition and surface car most of the people that we live in here, them, them common sense wake up, they must know so they have to buy some four wheeler. And if rain fall like this, you know, say an normal thing. Because you know, have no proper organized structure upon the roadway that you have to run off with water or these things. But you know, we're there still. But anything we have to do with the development of a mind, body, and people, and we country, Jamaica, you know, so I'm in for that. So this video, me don't like it here, but if you read some places where something, um, something doing tenuous can happen, not speech, something verb, you know, something can be done instantaneously or immediately to help these people in these communities, man. So then can you able to have a better road system? This can't be normal, right? I remember say. Even though the government kind of win overwhelmingly in the previous election, I can tell you that this road is in them type of condition here. Whole heap of years. You know, whole heap of years. I may tell you a good amount of years. Oh my God, man. Make with us a listening ears and a listening a look of voice. You know, they just may play my part in terms of the betterment. Because you have some nice houses in this place, you know, man. And whole heap of land there, see them way for the people, you able to, to expand them family and them thing. Yeah. So it start become like a farming zone still, in terms of with my bridging. I decide to say, I'm going to do him farm and set up him farm and thing. So I can find some ways and earn some little food for him on, right? Them have a, it used to be a pumping station right here. We have to do with the water. I don't know if it's a, I just the pump this still, because it's a new farm at a pump. Right? I go around on the right so still because I think around the side I'm a bridging place supposed to be. So you see people, you see so the road, the road condition no normal. Watch them, could they? You get me? All different farmers. Me have to describe the road, you know. Right? As you can see, like most of the people I'm up here start to some local backyard farming and you know, something this thing. So let's go and stay tuned. I remember, me have to big enough. Thank you for your support so far. Because you know me intention of to change this world for a better place for everybody. Black, white, green, yellow, blue and all these people so we can able to live in peace. So thank you for your support so far and just continue to share the video with your friends them and encourage them to just support Clark TV, support my football, support all the things that I do because these things that I put out are some positive things. And anybody who know me know say negativity in my blood. You get me? So we just uh, do a thing and just Continue support. Encourage other people, man. Take a, a little half an hour out and just subscribe and 
view the thing and observe and make a comment and share and us these things leave the comments them the comments them is very important you know because it help with the directive in terms of where some of the things that we can be able to work towards right so today me have a link up my bridging as i said before for daily look on him farm and see how him farm progress and then look at him there. so bless up my family and love and all Okay, back with you, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. So my bridging, please. <laughs> it's a walk yeah, after man, the welcome, boss. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> yeah, man. All right. Bless up, bless up, bless up. Yeah, man. You know the COVID thing still, so we have to have a little... Yeah, social distance. Yeah. So you're over the side, I'm over here, sir. All right, so walk out. Mm -hmm. I like the farm so far, what I see. Yes, right? yes, yes. I want you to explain to me how oh, come a brilliant economist like you decides uh, you are going to do so by work where you eventually I teach over years you know, and all still. Alright, it's a, the thing is, you know, one thing is a lot of people say so it's a COVID as a as a curse. I see it as a blessing yeah. because it allowed me some time at home to actually look at my front lawn and say, you know what, let me see what I can do with it. Because this used to be just grass and I figure say you no know, grass can eat man and the the lawn will look just as beautiful if I grow some fruits and vegetables you know so I just decided that I want to tra transform the farm the lawn into a farm. Normally Mr Walker me down uh, request for the individual to walk me through but when say your surname I walk up yes, I man. think you should of course, man. slowly spread yeah. me through right. the process of how the because when you look upon the place look look upon this this is amazing, man. When you look for the place, this is geniusness. And this consists of melon. Watermelon, yes. Watermelon. I have a few um, pineapples because I'm going to plant out a, a few more. Um, I have um, some kale, just mm -hmm. transplanted them, so they kind of look a little bit distressed now. All right, just tell me about the measurement of how you're able to get something like this at the front of your premises. All right. Same thing is, when I thought about how much watermelon would probably make me a good little um, money. You know, money. Additional but income from there. Yeah, everybody <laughs> want that. So I look at it and I have um, a space of approximately 40, 40 um, by 20. That would yeah. give me about 800 square foot of space. Yeah. But then I thought about doing it vertically. So when I made these um, trellises, they are called trellises. trellises. They are about 6 foot high by 40 foot long. So my mama know what is trellises, you know, so yeah, you can, you can give me a little. Yeah. Uh, I'll explain it for you. Uh, but you know, you have a six foot high by 40 foot long, which gives you about 240 square foot of space per trellis. Yeah. So with um, five of them, I have a total of, um, what is it, um, 1,200 square foot. Yeah. Right? So um, in other words, I increased my 800 square foot mm -hmm. by 400 square foot, you know, give me more space. Now, if we go closer, let us go here. Yeah. Be careful. I'll take my time, my boss. I'm not feel so afraid of the farm because you're not shooting me. I have yeah. had a friend where we shoot me. Right. So yeah. basically, the trellis is just a, um, just a, just a mesh, you know, yeah. so that you can, the vines can go up on it. So right? you get a base, um, you get yeah. a base so and set up the mesh. Plant these pipes. Of course, I collected the pipes wherever I could. You know, it's recycling. Yeah, yeah, you know, you don't want yeah. to go spend money unnecessarily. So I collected the pipes wherever I could find a piece of pipe or whatever. Planted the pipes. I have a few. I had a few pieces here left over from doing the fence, etc. Construction. Right? And then I took this card. If you can get a close up on it, mm -hmm. right? This so this is nylon. In the same card, you would have seen people use. For lining out foundations and to fly kite right. too, and to fly kite, and, to, and it can be used as fishing line too. You know? Yeah, it can hold up to 200 pounds. But anyway, um, I could not get any net like this anywhere to buy in Jamaica, oh. so I just bought a few rolls of um, card. I think um, I use about six rolls and right? create your own thing. And I made my own net. So the, all the nets you see here, mm -hmm. they are handmade. So, of course, if somebody is thinking about doing something like this, I'll gladly show them yeah. how to go about making it. All right. So, the whole, whole idea behind it is this, that um, 
if the melon runs underground, and by the way, let me show you some vines. I left some underground for demonstration purposes. Yes. Now take time, watch me step on come, boss. Yeah, so yeah. I left these on the ground for demonstration purposes. Now, when you look at these, what you can see, you can see the top of the leaf. Mm -hmm. You can't really see what is happening underneath. Yeah. Right? So, for inspection of the vines for pathogens, you know, for um, pests, for diseases, it's a little bit more difficult. Mm -hmm. But when you have it going up on the trellis like this, you can inspect it from both sides. You can see the top of the leaves, you can see the bottom of the leaves. Um, it, is, it is easier for you to maintain the health of your vines. Okay. If there's any change, if there's any wilting, you'll see it immediately. All right, okay. so Walker, I think the learning potential I excel. So I think I'm going to need some water. So just continue line up the thing them and me just get some water and then my fowl. Yeah, back with you, my family. Mr. Walker, continue upon this mission of, of greatness where, trust me, if you try this at home and you have a man like this man, if you teach you, this farmer, this thing unstoppable. You get me? So just, all right, just show me the one them with the pandy. All right. So about how, how much how much weeks? All right. All right. This is about we're at about two months now, mm -hmm. right? Um, you can see some of the melon watermelons here. Yeah. They are suspended in these things. Yeah. Um, watermelons are heavy, so they would obviously break the stem if you allow them to grow like they would on the ground. So what I have to do, I have to make these um, nets. I call mm -hmm. them hampers. You might want to call them hammocks. It doesn't matter what creative, you call them. Man, creative, man. Right? Creative. I made them, right, using the same string that I used to make the trellises. Now, these nets, what they are, they are basically onion bags. I went to the market. I collected them at the market. I took them home. I soaked them in a bleach solution <laughs> to ensure that I don't carry any disease. Carry disease, plants, yeah. Right? Because I learned, say, Good. your clothes and these things. Eh? Right. Yeah. So after soaking them in the bleach, I expose them to full sunshine because UV rays help to disinfect them as well. Yeah. And then I just cut them. I have this long needle about um, a foot long. I use it for upholstery. And I use it to thread. If you get a close up here, mm -hmm. you can see that I thread the cord through it. And I also hang it up. I mean, nobody uses the onion bags when they are through. I mean, the market people, the onion bags can't hold um, charcoal. Yeah. They don't see it as garbage. debris. Yeah, they don't see it as garbage. Yeah. So it is basically some form of recycling that I'm doing here. And I take the discarded onion But tell bags. me, just yes. give me an idea how much pandas stretch alone, how much melon we clearly. Just give me, no. just walk and show me how much we me done a look pan. Okay. When we are talking about how much we don't look on the stretch itself. Okay, now, um, so far, if we come here, um, I hope we can get a good look. Yeah, man. On this side alone, I have in the hampers, yeah. I, I already have. By the way, they just started fruiting just about three weeks ago. Yeah. So they are still going to have new fruit. You see these big fruits? If you look here, you can see these tiny ones are still emerging. Yeah. So Clearly. far on this side that you're looking at, I have 30 in bags, right? I anticipate that each of these lines, each trellis, mm -hmm. will produce um, close to about 100, optimally. Let me explain what I mean. Yeah. Each of these trellises has about 60 individual plants. An individual watermelon plant will give you about three or four watermelons. I am limiting myself to only two because I want them to be um, good sized, well mature, well nourished. Right? So if, say, each of my 60 plants gives me two, I'm saying potentially there is like 120. Yeah. I'm saying I have to come, um, calculate for loss because some of these plants are already lost. Come here. Mm -hmm. Some of these fruits. What you're looking at here is called blossom and rot. Um, I'm not a very experienced farmer, so as afterwards I learned that I should have applied some calcium. You know, so when melons, they are lock, lacking in calcium, we get this. But I have since started applying um, some calcium nitrate and some um, Calmax B. Hopefully it will satisfy that cal calcium demand. 
and so I won't have any more development like this. But a few of them are like this. So I'm saying, if you accommodate loss and all of that so far on this stretch, mm -hmm. I know I have at least 30 good quality melons. So I mean, I have five trellises. Let me say, if I get even 30 per, per, per trellis, I still mm -hmm. am looking at 150 watermelons at a first try. You know, so? First so no, it's so like how them depend on the fence and all. Yes. Show me all the watering system for them go still right. because okay. you know all them areas stay with water. So right. yeah. So I have to use um a, a very little. Uh, well, I have to use a minimum amount of water. Let me see the area them where you where okay. you start the water. Now, from. if you look at this, these are my irrigation pipeline. pipelines. What I use for it is the electrical conduit. Yeah. The thing is, um, the regular water PVC pipe is um, a bit expensive. The, the black hoses that they sell for irrigation yeah. is a little expensive as well. But the, the electrical conduit is much cheaper than all of them. Right? So I'd be, and, and it will carry water and stuff as um, irrigating. So that's what I use. Basically, what I did is to um, connect the pipes. I, I use a 116 drill bit yeah. to put some holes in them, turn it down, and each morning I turn on each light. So the stem them it on there in a location. Yes, that's what I did. So I, all of the stem them there in a location exactly where the water and water feed. Is, yes. Um I am going to turn one on just for um, Yeah I'm man, that's so down good. That's down good. Alright. Okay. So if you can get a closer that the water is delivered mm -hmm. directly to the root. Yeah. So it's not wasted as a sprinkler system. A sprinkler yeah. system wet up all over the world. You understand? And very little of it gets to where it really needed. So this is well controlled. Right. <laughs> so each plant... <laughs> Amazing with the water, boy. Right. So each plant requires about a litre of water. Yeah. So I measured it, you know. So I realized if I run the line for one minute, the plant will get exactly one liter of water. So, that's it. You sure, other than this ain't a right field, because if you're talking about money and success, you know, you're fine. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Come closer, let me show you something else. Yeah. What happened is that at some of the nozzles, the plants did not emerge. Mm -hmm. But the nozzle is still there. Oh. So what I did was just to replace Wherever the plant, the melon did not come up, yeah. I place it with some sweet corn. Yes, there. Yeah, man, that's what you mean. Right. So, anywhere the plant did not come up, I just replace it with a. With a mm -hmm. And you can see that I have some healthy looking watermelons inside here. Well, I want to me a hope so you know have the people that will watch a place and when they're ready for pick them come come be reach before you and pick All them. Right. Um, you see, because that this is a custom a custom practice in a Saint Catherine when mm -hmm. anybody. The thing is, the you thing know, is, I have, um, you can see the fence for yourself. It's um about seven foot high. Yeah. Right. Um. I have two. Right now, the yeah, the joke so, that Mr. Walker gave me about so, the fence height. Right. No, <laughs> like, man, this one. But look yeah, but it you know, no matter why, this is me, yeah, the no, man no, we want. No, but I'm telling you, yeah. like, my people's car, but they all, but they don't want to come in. You understand? They deal with that. Well, those that sound like are some nice security features still, but <laughs> those are some safe security features. Because yeah, you know them youth are not easy. Yes, my brother. Take your time. Alright people, trust me. It's really amazing to recognize these things. Because you know, the monks my bridge and them and them have them expertise here. All me I take my time I do. I learn about these things. Because you remember we are now young people like one time where we can't work for nobody again, so them things are nice to go direction and to understand what takes place. It's a good look. A something we can add on or get yourself involved with too. You know? So Mr. Walker you do a immaculate job, your man. Right. A so woolmas job. Not immaculate. Right. You do a woolmas job. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. So 
Um, another thing I want to point out, if I can come closer here. Yeah. Uh, and the space where the man um, make sure. Watch, watch, watch him. Just, just a walk between. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so what happened now is mm -hmm. I, have a, I have this fence, right? Um, for security purposes. But I decided that it can serve more than security purpose. Mm -hmm. um, if I were to grow beans, for example, I would have to make a harbor for them. But the fence oh. is already here. So what I've done now, I've planted broad beans mm -hmm. along the fence right around. So it's going to wrap around the entire and fence. If you take a quick look behind you, you can see some just emerging. You know? Yeah. Um, right, these were planted. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These were planted before. So of course, um, I'm just allowing them to run on the fence. All right. Will serve a dual purpose. It is a production, and since it is chain link, it might offer me a little bit of privacy inside my yard. You know. So what I want to can tell you about. You calculate how all this thing is gonna work perfectly. And my sister boy, that's a reality. You get me? Right. Um oh, one other thing is hold on. Mm -hmm. One other thing is that I know generally people are going to ask is if the trellis are really strong enough to hold up the that are the, like. the car. But if you look closely, you will see that the um I run this 12.5 gauge wire at the top. Okay. Each of the, these wires can hold up to like 2,000, 3,000 pounds of weight. Yeah. So basically what happened is the water lines are actually suspended. The weight is suspended directly from these. So, so the bigger, did them get it up somewhere can and hold it? Yes, man. Okay. Yes, so they, they, they won't come down at all. You will see some sagging in the middle. Yeah. But that's all right. Because they won't come down. And then sagging, they have flexibility. Right. Yeah. Well, it's a walker. Me impressed. You get me? Yeah. Me impressed. And I hope this video change the mindset and the understanding of people who decide to them go venture in a farm and we have a property when I use it. Because look at these things. Look how, how Woolmers disabled to become with a walker that decides to buy him in a lockdown. And then decide say, I'm going to turn him, him man. Because this man is a man who teach everybody to make money, you know. <laughs> everybody teach to make money. This man has more students in the world than the university them. And trust me, it's a, it's a good look. Me impressed. I think I'm going to start take up the art of, of farming. You get me? So, any last word you have to say to people, Mr. Walker? Uh, well, um... Thing is, anything encouraging? Yeah, I just want to encourage people. And people, you know, um, don't look at what you don't have, right? Look at what you have, and use it. I mean, um, last week I see somebody somewhere, Trelawney or wherever, raising crabs. I saw another guy somewhere else, don't have any land. I don't know where he live, but this guy cut some five-gallon buckets and nail them to the wall and yeah. farm on his wall. You know, so let us not look at what we don't have. Let us look at what we have and use it um, as much as possible. Um, I have a, a few other things in the ground. I didn't point them out, but I have oh. some um, kale and um, okay. I have okay. some herbs like um, dill, cilantro, basil. What part of the herb where they are all and pull people about the country no, for? But I'm still allowed to have five anyway. So <laughs> I won't break the law. <laughs> right. But yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, so I was encouraging people that look here. Um, you're at home, you have some time at home, um, you know, instead of being depressed about it, get out. And by the way, I find this therapeutic. For, yeah, for yeah. Me. It's really therapeutic. And every morning I get up and I look at it, it just makes me feel good that I could actually. I had no idea, by the way, how yeah. to make <laughs> nothing at all. I just say, all right. Each time I got a piece of material, I put it on, I say, all right, it might work that way. I didn't even know that um, these things would stand up. When I did them, I planted them and suspended them with the wires. When I feel it, it's really firm. I never yeah. had an idea that it would actually work. I just get up and say, let me do something. And as I was doing it, it unfolded. Encouraging. Right. Right. So it's, it really works.
So it also helped me to learn a lot about watermelon. So I can actually teach people about no, Well, see. the next thing when I want to learn about them, yeah, when they're ready, that's because I'll cut and eat. Well, I can yeah. tell you, you know, if you, I mean, you have your, <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah, and some, and some people worrying about the school fees. So, so how long, long, how long them take for That's what come I to, you. yeah, right? It's about three to four months. Mm -hmm. So like those people now worrying about school fees for September. Maybe if you plant a crop now, you might get some melon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you, Mister Walker. Thank you for this, mm -hmm. this enlightenment of knowledge. You know, because this has changed a whole heap of people's life and them, them learn it here, mm -hmm. you know, at Clark TV. So just continue, subscribe and share. And remember, me promising us a boy, me have make you know, experience some great things on the channel. And this is one such venture with Mr. Walker. Boy, Mr. Walker, trust me. Boy, me can't say boy, Mr. Walker, man, Mr. Walker, <laughs> you know, you know, amazing yeah. job, my brother. And thank you very much, my friends and families. Bless.